can't imagine this little life and all the things I've been. Called our band the Nighthawks, and we were popular in Oregon. And there was another band that we ran around with called the Robert Cray Band, and we were doing a double gig together. It was the Robert Cray Band and the Nighthawks at the Eugene Hotel. This cocaine dealer comes up to me and yanks on my pant leg and goes, "Hey!" And I'm in the middle of a song goes, hey, Bellucci wants to meet you. And I just blew him off. I don't know who Bellucci is. And because back in those times, one, I didn't have a television. Two, all band and all musicians, Saturday is payday. And so I never saw a Saturday Night Live. And so when this guy comes up and yanks on my leg and says, Bellucci wants to meet you, I don't know what he's talking about. So I jump off stage and I'm going over to see a group of girls and they're gonna go, gonna go flirt you know and this guy grabs me goes Curtis turns me around and goes John Belushi this is John Belushi and I turn around and I look at him he comes up and he's about I don't know about five six five five he's stocky dude and he reaches out his hand and we shake hands and but I'm like shaking hands like this they go, hi you know I don't know who he is and he kind of steps back a little bit and I'm looking at him like, and? And he's, hey, I like your music. And thank you very much. And all I'm thinking about is those girls over there. He goes, you remind me of a friend of mine. He plays harmonica too. And I was thinking, who cares? And he says, yeah, his name is Dan Aykroyd. And I just look at him blank, like, okay. And yeah, and I remember thinking, the world doesn't need another harp player, you know. And that's the truth. He goes, you kind of look like him. I don't know who Dan Aykroyd is. And I'm kind of pulling away from him. And he goes, yeah, I'm here in town with the movie. And I go, oh, you're here with the movie? Yeah, yeah. My friend Robert. Robert, uh, he goes, yeah, I saw Robert. Robert Cray is in Animal House. You know you make me wanna kick my heels up and down. And I knew this was happening, but Robert's a pretty quiet dude, and he didn't talk about it much. So back to John, I'm going, oh, yeah, yeah, Robert's in that movie, isn't he? He goes, yeah, I saw Robert today. I saw Robert. We did. He kind of he taught us some dance steps that we did, and we're talking a little bit and stuff. And I said, well, you know, that's really, you know, that's great and everything. And I start going away, and he goes, you know, I like your music, and... Um, I think he said, I want to get together or something. But he explained to me that I have to fly to New York and fly back to Eugene, Oregon, because I'm on the show called Saturday Night Live. They blew up Michael's wife and lovely car. <laughs> <laughs> the Taglias, the Bazzinis, the Boyardis, they all have contracts out on me. They had a feds are watching me. Keith Offer is investigating me. The ASPCA is after me about this horse thing. <laughs> he knows by now I don't know who or what is going on or what's he involved with. And he goes, yeah, yeah, but I'm pretty excited about it because we're going to have Ray Charles on the show. And I go, what? You're going to have Ray Charles? You're going to have Ray Charles on the show? He goes, yeah, yeah. I go, yeah, you got to ask. Now I'm following. I'm going, you got to ask Ray Charles about Guitar Slim. He goes, who's Guitar Slim? You don't know who Guitar Slim is? Are you kidding me? Man, he used to have a mile long guitar chord. You gotta ask him, he plays piano on the song called The Things I Used To Do. He arranged the horns. He's on the original session. The thing that I used to do. Lord, I won't do no more. Have you ever heard of that? He goes, no, I haven't. You've never heard of that song, man. So you got, you got to ask him. Did you know uh, Ray Charles plays alto saxophone? He goes, he plays alto saxophone. I said, yeah, you got to ask him about this. I'm just, I know all this info. He plays alto saxophone on uh, live at Newport Jazz on Atlantic Records, 1958, and he's just absorbing me and just listening to this. And he just gets, we get involved. And I said, 
Guitar Slim, have you ever heard him? He goes, no, I'd like to. And then we went upstairs to what, we were in a hotel, Eugene Hotel, and we smoked a dube. We, I remember coming back down and I was late for the, the, the rhythm and blues part of our show and stuff, you know, two nights, Friday, Saturday. And uh, he would come and see us play. And that's how I met him. He somehow got my number, I have no idea. I didn't give it to him, but he found out where I was and called me up and invited me out to where he was staying. I started visiting him and I started bringing him records. I brought him Magic Sam, Muddy Waters, Sonny Boy Williamson. I think I brought him some King Floyd, I brought him some soul music. We played the Eugene Hotel and had a lounge and we would play the lounge every Monday. I remember this plain as day, we come in and Usually we drew okay, you know, it's Monday night, but the place would be packed when these, this movie crew was there from Animal House, because they're filming Animal House. Pretty soon he wants to jam with us. So he goes, hey, I want to jam with you guys. And I go, you want to jam, huh? And he goes, you know, let's do Jailhouse Rock. I said, no, that's cornball, man. We're not going to do Jailhouse Rock. And he goes, so let's do Johnny Be Good. And I said, no, I'm not going to do Johnny Be Everybody, it's like the Louie Louie of, you know, no, I'll tell you what, I'll bring you a song. And so I brought him Hey Bartender, which is by Floyd Dixon. I said, this is the tune for you, you know. So let's do this song. So now it comes around the following Monday. He goes, okay, I've learned the tune. So I call him up and people are going crazy. They're just going ape, you know. And he gets up there and we start off the song. <laughs> I went balling the other night. <laughs> got drunk and I got real tight, you know that? So, but he's like going, I went like this and he's doing this and I'm looking at him and the audience is loving it. And I'm getting, I'm going like, this is shit. And they're going crazy. And I'm kind of like, what the hell is going on here? So I'm just thinking, and I'm looking at him, he's going, wind ball and the other light. And I'm thinking to myself, is that a Joe Cocker imitation? Because, you know, it's, it's there. <laughs> Hey, you know, what'd you think? And I said, well, was, were you doing Joe Cocker? Said, yeah, I, I do it in that show. I imitate Joe Cocker. I've done it on Saturday Night Live. And I touched his chest, and this is the only advice I gave him. I touched his chest and I go, you're doing Joe Cocker, and you're doing a Floyd Dixon song, and you're singing it like Joe Cocker, and you're John Bellucci, and you got to come from your heart, you know. And he goes, this is, and I won't forget, he just goes, yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, it was like, yeah, that's it. Boom, it's done. We the other night. Started drinking and got real tight. I blew each and all my friends. Felt so good, I had to blow again. I said, hey, You can't imagine this here life. And all the things I've been through I've been knocked down so many times Hard times ain't nothing new I've been cut from stem to stern So back up again Lost my brother to the needle 